Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I joined my colleague, uh, Congressman G.T. Thompson from Pennsylvania, uh, as co-chairs of the uh, Bipartisan Career and Technical Education Caucus uh, in uh, commending uh, House Appropriators and my colleagues uh, for the increase in Perkins Act funding for uh, career technical education funding. Uh, this funding is uh, vitally important for training uh, the next generation of workers who will enter the career and technical education uh, fields. Uh, these are good paying jobs and at a time where Rhode Island, my home state, has one of the highest unemployment rates in the country, uh, this funding for career and technical education could not come at a more critical time. Uh, it is frustrating to see so many people out of work and yet when you talk to businesses around our state, around the country, one of the main things that they have finding a, a real challenge is finding people with the right skills to do the jobs that are available right now. So by focusing on these areas uh, of career and technical education, uh, whether it be in, in IT or in, uh, in woodworking or culinary uh, engineering, uh, these are vitally important jobs for, in our communities, in our, in our country, and are going to do a lot to get people back to work. So I want to thank my colleagues uh, for uh, their uh, support of the Perkins Act funding and career and technical education programs. And again, thank my colleague, Congressman G.T. Thompson from Pennsylvania, for the bipartisan he and I have put in uh, to this vitally important area. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of